Yep. Hey, Coach, so first off, game week coming up very soon. How'd you go practice with us today? Uh, it was good. Good. They practiced hard. Uh, they made some mistakes. The uh, scout team, they get a really good look. Um, I think just getting back into the flow of you're not in camp anymore. And you, you know, the rhythm is a little bit different. But uh, so far, I, th I thought the guys played hard, and I thought they uh, um, did a good job of just trying to do the basic things and do our simple stuff. Can I follow up with you about that part about camp being different compared to the rhythm of a game week and what you guys are trying to do uh, each day? How does it feel changing up a little bit on what you guys are trying to do and how that kind of impacts the way that you're, you're well, coaching? I mean, camp, camp is awesome. Camp is fun. Um, but going against the same people for four weeks kind of gets old. So it's just the, your, your tempers aren't as short as it is at the end of camp. Um, your day's different. You know, from camp, from 5 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock at night, you got – um, everybody's doing the same thing. There's a set schedule. Now everybody has different schedules with class and, um, you know, other things, um, you know, the, the study hall and, and when they eat. So the times are a little bit different. So you just have to adjust of, of what time, uh, when they do things and kind of get their routine uh, throughout the day. And each day is different. You know, some kids take classes on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. So they just have to adjust to their, their routine. How do you feel the game plan has been going for you guys scheming against Wyoming? Obviously so much with the offensive line, whether it's second the quarterback, opening up the run game. So a lot for you guys to mentally prepare for coming into the first week of the season. How do you think that's all been and you guys have been trying to get that? And I think that the, the guys and, and, you know, Coach Rose has done a great job of, of just doing what we do. Um, you know, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel and we're going to do things that we've done um, this whole year. And so, um, uh, of course, we're going to have some wrinkles in it, but the guys should be comfortable with the verbiage and the play calling because it's the same thing they've been running. And, um, you know, just seeing how they, they put it against a really, really good defense like Wyoming. Last year, the team had a lot of struggles in the offensive line group when it came to depth and injury bugs kind of hit and then it made it a long season. How do you feel about the depth that you guys have currently at the position? I know uh, Josh Atkins is coming back from his injury as well um, and getting right. How do you feel about the way your, your line is looking in terms of the amount of quality players you have? Um, they, you know, they're healthy. You know, the guys are healthy and, um, you know, the, there's a lot of guys that played last year that, that are back and, and they built some depth. So um, I think you have a group that's hungry um, and that that works together uh, and that works well together. So I think, you know, we'll see on, on, on there's going to be some ups and downs and just got to figure out how, how we respond to the ups and how we respond to the downs. Yeah, I want to ask about a couple different individual players now for your offensive line group. Yep. Uh, Max, starting off, I mean, he's played so much of this of this camp with a uh, first team uh, with a right tackle. How do you think he's been uh, dealing with camp and then getting ready for the season as well in his own progression? Uh, Max is ready. He's he's been improving every day, and and you know you got to remember Max is new to football, so um, you know the totality of how long he's played and compared to where, where he is now is is massive. So he's getting ready. He'll be fine. He's ready. He's hungry. Um, you know, he just. Going out there when you when you know you're ready is different than last year when Max had to go out there because we needed him to. So um, it's his spot. He earned it. And he's ready to go. Yeah, uh, going off from Max as well, a guy that did play a lot last year, a guy that who's definitely ready uh, last year as well as this year was Leaf and uh, being the starting center for you guys, uh, being one of the main captains, leaders, vocal players on the team. What kind of leadership does he bring to the offensive line group and how does his ability on the field and off the field kind of impact you guys? Well, he sets the standard in everything they do, and that's just in football, but in just the life, how you prepare for things and uh, what it's supposed to look like in life. So he's a good example for all the kids, not just in the O-line. Um, and then he just brings that experience and that, that standard that he brings in everything in his life to football where, you know, it's, it's that professionalism where they know how to uh, prepare for the game because they see him. Is there anybody that's kind of like grown in your opinion as like a vocal leader or like somebody that's kind of just uh, helped improve the locker room more than maybe not maybe what you expected, maybe something that kind of surprised you uh, going forward? No, you, I think we do a good job of recruiting good kids. I mean, you know, each each guy's each individual is growing as a person. Uh, ben Coleman's growing. Uh, Max, like you mentioned, Josh Atkins, Sean Na, Emmett Bowley. I mean, they're all they're all different when they were last year in a good way. Um, and you know, it's it's when you have good guys in the room, uh, it's nice to to be able to kind of kind of let them run the show a little bit and, and kind of. Uh, have it be player player ran as opposed to coach led. You mentioned uh, Sean. I know coach talked yesterday about him being out for a couple more weeks yeah. uh, with an injury. Uh, is, he's going to be a pretty big miss for you guys. Is that something that you feel like is going to negative, obviously negatively impact you, but something you guys won't be able to kind of make up for? Yeah, I mean Sean's a big part of the team, um, but but again, it's just you know we've got guys that step up, and and Sean will be back, and and you know I know the next Thursday game kind of, you know, if it was a Saturday, he'd probably be back for that game, but he'll be back. He'll be ready to go. He's, he's running around and so it'll be good to get him back next week and kind of get him in the fold and be ready for the, the following week.
You mentioned how the guys, you know, after four weeks of camp, kind of get sick of hitting the same people over and over. How do you feel like the uh, the bond or the camaraderie of the team has grown, though, over the course of camp and uh, as the offensive line group worked in, working every day, practicing against each other, hitting each other? Well, it really starts in January. And, and I told them, I said, you know, going to camp and going to Camp T, that just cements it and further strengthens it. But, you know, you can't wait to – if you're a team that waits till camp to get together, then it's too late. And I think the guys have done a great job in January, and, um, and the coaches have put them in a good position to be successful, to fail, and to be able to respond to each other. So um, camp is really just a stamping on them because you're around the same guys over and over again. So it, it's fun, and you know I know they enjoy, their, enjoy each other's company, and, and that's what camp is about. Do you feel like you kind of seen the growth of the bond kind of cement? Like when you guys have like your meetings or anything like that, where you're behind closed doors and you guys are talking, do you feel like you've kind of seen more people kind of come out of their shell or be more talkative to one another in that sense? Yeah, you really see it when things go wrong. Um, you know, it's easy to go ha ha he he and slap each other's back, but when, when things hit the fan and and they struggle in whatever, you know, whether it's part of a drill or not, you can see them bond together and then they start to grow. And that's where the bond really helps is when you know, when you respond to some, some adversity, how do you respond? Is there, oh, my bad, you know, I'm sorry. They don't turn on each other, they, they, then they've done a good job. What adversity do you think you might be facing uh, with now that the season actually starting uh, that you haven't maybe been able to see over the course of camp or against each other? Just playing, playing a full game, playing 11 on 11, uh, under the lights with crowds, um, being able to handle the preparation, um, you know, coaches down on the field, just, just the whole 11 on 11 aspect. Um, that everybody goes through um, when when you when you transition from spring ball to summer camp to summer camp to the season, it's just being able to play it and and we try to make practice so hard that the game physically is a little bit easier as far as their win. But there's going to be some times out there they're going to be gassed and they're going to have to uh, you know knuckle down and, and continue to get you know, to get their job done. Coach, um, you know Wyoming's known to be like kind of a tough football team. They yeah. have that grittiness to them, you know. They're not scared to you know come down and make plays, especially with both of their safeties. Um, so, what kind of toughest level do you kind of want to see from your guys going into Saturday and 